Hi people! Today, I'll be discussing the differences and the pros and cons of AI moderation and human moderation, which deals with content moderation or in monitoring, violating posts or pictures in a platform or in a social media platform. As we all know, the internet is a huge ocean of information with users generating content or creating their own content to lure people into their websites, discuss in open communication with other people, and it will constantly flood your social media platforms. To maintain a safe and a civil online environment, content moderation is essential. Basically, it is the process of filtering and curating content that the users post to see if it is friendly or not harmful to advertisers and the users of the platform and it doesn't spread ill-intentioned or maligned ideas. This task can be achieved into two main approaches, automation using computer or AI automation and human content moderation. But let me tell you which approach reigns supreme on your, for your brand. At first, I'll be talking about a speed demon, which is AI automation in content moderation. Automation utilizes artificial intelligence or AI and machine learning and language learning process to scan content for predefined red flags. For example, if a post contains the N-word or a curse word, the system could automatically flag it to end, tell the user that this content is banned and they, they shouldn't post, post it and it would educate them on the banned content and such. It also deals with a lot with self-harm contents as it could identify certain hashtags that people use, especially with challenges or self-harm challenges that people post on the internet. It's very fast and it can analyze massive amounts of data like bulks in a blink of an eye, making it ideal for handling sheer volume of online content. So eh, once it knows the once it learns the pattern of those contents, it can automatically flag the data as violating. It is very consistent and apply, applies the rules uniformly without, without subjectivity, reducing the risk of human bias or biases by humans. It's also cost effective because keeping or hiring a team of a hundred a thousand content moderators just to moderate one region can be cost efficient or could be very expensive depending on their prices or on, on the price range it could be very expensive ai offers a more scalable and cost efficient solution especially if you're a budding media company even though ai is cost effective and handles a bulk amount of data in a short span of time it isn't flawless as there are accuracy issues we're in AI struggles to identify words that are used like idioms, sarcasm, satire, and other cultural references, and it can mister, misinterpret it, and lead, leading this to unfair removals of content. Also, users can easily game it since you cannot train AI day after day, since it needs a, a huge amount of data and a reference to train it. So users can game the system with filters or use other code words still not learned or applied to the AI learning process or to the NLPs and machine learning that will alter the prices, making it not detected by the AI. And there's a black box problem because it's not human. It's You cannot understand the decision-making process of an AI, making it prone to error and you cannot identify the problem or immediately based on how the AI learned certain things. So you have to start from scratch if that happens. So automation can be good for news websites, traveling websites, as well as photography websites like Instagram. It is good for high value and low complexity content like post and description filters and images that can benefit AI ability to scan for common violations like spam. So with links, AI can be helpful with that. Phishing links, hate speech or nudity. But 
I believe Unity is a double-edged sword because AI might remove some pictures about and rallies about women, women empowerment and breastfeeding. So there could be a difficulty on, with that. But it is also good with content moderation with predefined criteria like copyright labels, music, and captions or clear-cut copies of comic book pages attached in videos or other illegal activities like selling guns and post pictures of drugs or other things that glorify drug use and other terrorist groups or images related to terrorist groups because AI automation can efficiently enforce it. So you can also use it as your initial line of defense. So if it plugs the content, it can easily be deleted on the site as it is learning from your moderators or your human moderators to do it. But if some contents are in the gray area, you can ask human moderators to review it for you. Nowadays or at the present, this is the most common moderator to moderation process that social media websites use, which is human moderation. Human moderators bring a crucial element to the table. They have unlimited understanding of cultural nuances and other speech patterns. So they can identify satire and other things. And that, is, that, that are their strengths. Since their strengths are they understand nuance and context. They understand the subtleness of language, humor, and cultural references like new memes, posts, and other things leading to more accurate judgments. They can also handle co complex cases and uh, handle intricate situations that go beyond simple keyword filtering. So if someone tries to game the system, a human moderator can easily flag it as a, a violation or not if it falls under the policy guidelines. They are also transparent. Their decision making is easier to understand, allowing for instant appeals and improvements to the moderation process. Like AI moderation, human moderation isn't perfect as well. They have their limitations, especially that they're human. They cannot handle the bulk or the million content that AI can handle in a split second. And they cannot keep pace with the ever-growing volume of content online. So some of them might even forget the memes that they've handled a year before, even if it resurfaces on the website. And they cannot easily track down or counter-check news and news articles that they moderate. And they have a threshold that they can handle per day or their quotas. They also have unconscious biases that can influence their decisions. Basically, how they're brought up, their knowledge about the language that they're moderating, and other things that may affect their decisions like their psychology or their mood for the day, leading to a lot of inconsistencies. And it also has a psychological toll for the people moderating the content. Exposure to harmful content can take a big mental toll to human moderators. And you need to provide them with psychological treatments and EAPs, which could be a cost or an added cost to your businesses. So if you would like to have content moderation drawn by humans, it is needed for content requiring no one's understanding, like satire, sarcasm, or cultural references like memes, among other things, that can be misinterpreted by AI since AI has a limited language, is still limited in its language and understanding models. Human moderators can easily decipher the true intent behind the content, especially if they hide it with those memes where they add different videos or they hide the memes sub in like a, in a subtle manner, like videos against Jews or such, or not supporting Hitler or even though it's a joke because those are banned in social media. Also, they are needed in complex situations, cases involving human trafficking, sexual harassment, revenge porn, bullying, and misinformation often require a human touch to assess the content and make well-informed decisions. 
So you they're needed in news websites or in websites that cater to different news outlets. So they can filter political posts and such and remove things that aren't true or just baseless humors or propaganda. Also, they are needed so that when a user appeals for the content removal, the humans or people can review the case and provide a more transparent explanation retaining customer loyalty and usage of the website because they know that they're talking to real humans who moderate their content. Because AI and human moderation has shortcomings and they cannot be fully trusted to deliver 100% accuracy, a collaborative effort is needed. And both a company or a social media company, if it wants to succeed or to attract advertisers to the platform, they need to use two of the moderation approaches hand in hand. Because as they're not a perfect solution for this own, it relies on a collaborative effort. AI can handle the heavy lifting, identifying the potential violations by gatekeeping the content at first or when your social media deals with reactive reports before you remove the violation, you can do that as well or they can do that as well while human moderators can make the final call on complex and nuanced cases like memes that AI cannot understand due to its limited learning ability or language learning capacity as of the moment. This combination both leverages the strength of your systems, ensuring a more efficient and accurate content moderation process. As technology continues to evolve, so will the art of content moderation. So right now, by embracing a hybrid approach, we can create a safer and more enjoyable online experience for everyone involved.